Hello, 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 and welcome to everyone in television land. Welcome to another exciting edition of the incredible show. This program is where you laugh and learn based on issues affecting our society. We fight for our library for media that keep you laughing for 30 minutes. We also have the frequent session, the five second rules that are about to be changed into the incredible love session. What comedian is going to be telling you the problem you face in your relationship, how you're going to settle them. Very soon it's going to be coming to your EYE right on Light TV and Walk of Our TV. On to this edition of the program, I will be talking to one of the rest stand up comedian. Very funny, humble, fine, nice, and every other juicy thing you have is right for him. He's going to be on the platform to tell us a little about the entertainment industry right in Liberia. What is it? We are not up to the stand up other. What can we do to reach the stand up other? We're going to be discussing it right here. And my guest for today is no one else but the king, Soko Loco himself. The Bishop King Soko Loco himself is going to be here today telling us every other thing that we need to do as entertainer to get to the next level of our career. What are some of the problems we are going through? And what are some of the things we need to do to catch up with others? So, King Soko Loco, you are welcome to the incredible show. Yeah, thank you very much for that. I, I'm I, overwhelmed. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. I love the African shake, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it, man. Uh, yeah. we, got, we, got, we got to support our, you know, Liberian yeah. talent. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we're doing this, like, real fashion. I know. So it's like, yeah. it's like, it's like the, the community trying to bring a little form in right now. So yeah. I have to around. I hear you, man. So I heard you, man. I had a game. Oh, well, we, 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 we can't complain like we normally say in Liberia, you know. Even though, even if it's not well, we still can't complain, mm -hmm. you know. In the lay like one man sense, you know. Know. But we, we stay hustling, we're making it small, small. Mm. Every day the person will get there. Right. Every, every year, every year. Every year, get there. Every year. Get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, way back then when we were coming up, we used to see comedians dress up with big shoes, big glasses, uh, all the kind of fun things. And these days, you guys are not like that. You guys are so cute in your dress code. So, what is it called? Where, is, like, where that translation take place? Oh, no. Um, we, <clears throat> the thing is, at that time, we, we, we did not really understand the the various, you know, act in comedy. You got you got skit comedians, you got stand up comedians, and you have clowns. But they are also comedians. So that like what we tell you used to do with by other comedians yeah. that was clowning. You understand? But that's another form of comedy to make people laugh. But they call them clown. You know, other people dress neatly, those are stand up comedians they dress very neatly and get and others, you know, use maybe dress funnily on the camera and perform, you know, that, that's what we call skit comedy. So they've been existing, but what we knew first, mm -hmm. that's what we started doing, you yeah. know. And uh, but at least we graduated from that from that level, and now we, we, we on to a, a new level. Yeah, because yeah. We, way back then we used to see like, the Ghanaians and Andre doing a stand-up comedy, but we didn't know the difference. We all yeah. the lava would be asking, what Jody Putin have to wear all this kind of kind Yeah, yeah that, they are different, different kind of acts as it relates to comedy. So it's not something like, you know, you gotta be doing biology, they get zoology, botany, yeah. you know, different different feet. That that's how that's how it is. Alright, before we can really go into our topic to make you laugh, before Kisoko Loco get you laughing, let's get to know about Kisoko Loco. So Kisoko Loco, can you tell something about yourself with Kisoko Loco? Well, um King Soko Loco is a stage name. Um but my real name is Arnold W. D. Labla. Mm -hmm. And um I was born in the, the Douala area, Balaswa. I, I came out as a dancer, you know, in Simeris. I used to dance very well. You know, even now I can still dance with, with the body. <laughs> yeah, the body now. So, <laughs> you know, the way body used to call me Simeris Michael Jackson. Wow. You know, that's it. Yeah. So that's how you're still right? Yeah. No, I, I have body, but I was not too big. Like this now. <laughs> yeah. I could control myself. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and from Simeris, I went to the SDA where I graduated on Cap Johnson Road. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, from there went to Stella Marie's Polytechnic, uh, the computer program, graduated, then enrolled to do architecture engineering, and from there I went to do uh, logistics and warehousing at the Institute of Child Marketing. Mm -hmm. It's a London-based, you know, marketing school. Mm -hmm. You understand? And uh, King Circle Look at the name came about in 2003 when I was on the, on the radio. Um, this guy called Tins Papa. He was one of the comedians who used to do, you know, radio stuff. Mm -hmm. So he had a radio show called Happy Hour, and uh, he saw me. At, because he, he's an alumni of uh, SDA too. So when I was in 11th grade, I had a mid chorus. We used to sing, and he he heard me doing some little bit of comedy 
And he said, well, man, why can't you come on the radio? So he called me on the radio and I went there. I never had, you know, a name. So he every night he said, oh, I got my picking Anno from SCA. He's in the studio. I would crack the people laugh. And one day he just called and said, well, man, where you know, you know, yeah. me to come in. They, I'm talented caliber on the radio to come in things, Papa. So where you own a name? So I'm like, way back we used to talk about that. So go look at Bangalore Shea and yeah. yeah, all the things, yeah. So I said, but then they call me, call me Soko Loko, man, King Soko Loko. Yeah, I yeah, that day, for that day, that name, yeah. just, you know, and I started running because he had a, he had a scholarship at Cotton Town, so he led the radio. And that was the first time, you know, in high school, high school boy, mm. and I started running my own radio program mm. from that time, 2003, up to now. You know, uh, but you know, sometimes family issues and what I mean. Mm-hmm. The, the way things were going in the country, my baby behind me, my man. It's a team when I did anything, so we, we were in kind of 100% into it. You know, I had to go do some other thing to get money to sustain myself and my family. So, you know, basically, that's that's who Silver Little is, and uh, I'm the CEO of Fresh Media Production. Yeah, yeah it's an event and marketing you know, company, and also the the CEO of Fresh TV. Mm. Yeah, it's an online TV, Fresh TV, Vibes, FMs. Those are all online platform. Right now we are off air because I'm trying to build a studio for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we are off air. And um, the passion for entertainment led me to do all the kind of things. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. So that, 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 I think that's, that's okay. So, so, so you're, not just, you're not just a stand-up comedian. You also have your own little impact in making society. For definitely, people. yeah. So, so what was that point in your life? You probably made like 100 plus person to the lab and you had the courage to say, yes, I can do this. Ah, well, you know, on the radio, like you, you, you got about 100,000 plus, but not seeing it. So the first time was uh, at St. Mary's. Yeah, uh, one of my, my old time musician friend, Mari MVP, mm-hmm. you know, he told me the MC hit program. Because I used to sing along with him. He was doing, yeah. <laughs> so he 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 made me his MC, you know. And uh, that day when I got on stage, the crowd, you know, students at school program, the very back, and I crack, and everybody was kind of laughing. That's how some folks I carry the name so good, so good, so good, so good. Started spreading small, small from there. People start calling me on school programs and other. So, so you can, know, can you share that joke? Well, that, that two joke, that's it. Let's take two for now. Can you remember two of that joke that you shared and get proud? Wow. <laughs> that, was, that was a very long, long time. Uh, very, very long, long time. Wow. Okay, <laughs> what, what, come what, back what, out. Why can't Sugar Logan is taking on that? Let's take our first video right after this break. Okay, Sugar Logan will be sharing with us the first two jokes he ever gave that make crowd laugh. <laughs> laugh out Liberia. You are welcome. <laughs> Bro, whoa. so all the team talking in that true? Uh, I'm picking it. The hustle. You're not still on the hustle. Yeah. When I gave one, yeah, I went to Ethiopia first. I gave it outside the hustle. I made four years in Arabia. Ah, join one village, one village, two. The two guys keep on South Africa. So she wrapped up me in South Africa. I want South Africa. On pan South Africa, my baby, what is it? South Africa, I made ten years in South Africa. Yeah, I made ten years in South Africa. But you know, the real hustle of looking in South Africa. The two other things I will have wrapped up. I see me go, me move on Africa, man. I went Italy. Yeah, but Italy, but you know, yeah, you know, Italy, the black people and the white people have some issues, you know. They have some issue with it. So I'm still on Italy. I'm in the same year in Italy. So I brought this pair of Germany. Yeah. But Germany, my man. Germany, I want to be like in Joe. Yeah, I have me one of Germany doing all over. But when I'm only spending eight years in Germany, so I brought this pair of England. Yeah. When I brought it in England, they were also looking at England. I look at it for two hours, but they also. And I'm still on Europe, you know. Yeah, in Europe, yeah, my mind is not loading you. So I look at only spend four years in, in, in uh, England, I wrap it straight in America. Yeah, like America, yeah, I just send it in and down in America. I still in America, in America, but I'm a fan. No one will love you. They enjoy me in America. People enjoy. I don't want to tell you them, my pig. You know, because I yell. Don't see me so good. Not because you see me passing around looking at them, my pig. I 
I am a girl. 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 I am <laughs> bro, we are all know. So, how old are you, bro? My opinion is still young, I can stay also. I left 24 years old. But, 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 bro, all the normal they require, the people here is paid in Europe, in Asia, in all the planet, bro. You say just 24. But all the same, you are a general for the age. My opinion, play low, man. <laughs> Welcome back to the program if you are watching us on Light TV or Walk Up on TV. This is the program that Incredible Show. And I'm your favorite boy, Incredible. I've been talking to King Soko Loco on this edition of the program about the entertainment industry of Liberia. What is it? We are not at the top at our peak. What are some of the problems? What are some of the costs? What can we do to reach to that level? So, King Soko Loco, what was that two joke we shared? From the beginning of the career, I make you believe in this. Yeah, the, 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 I, I just remember the first mm -hmm. joke was um, a, a guy in, in school, you know, um, people never knew that he could spy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every every test, the man would score nothing. Mm -hmm. So even the, the beginning, who really know if he said said, ah, <laughs> he's a little doozy. Mm -hmm. He do something, he ah, not knowing. That guy had a whole test and make a photocopy, send it somebody with SRA, then they send it back. Bring it, bring it. Yeah. So you know what they're scoring? Scoring. Even his parents, everybody was proud of him. Graduate, you know when you do something. Mm -hmm. As a dude, they gave you the validatory speech. Yeah. So that day the man, the, the guy, he didn't know what to write. <laughs> so the boy, the guy who normally does a, a test for him. He told the guy to write, you know, something down. Remember, so now he practiced, practiced, practiced. One week before the program, the program, they are owned by the different speech. They said, my man, I didn't even warn you. The guy said, what? Why would practice it? Why would practice it here? So he said, my man, you know what? We so money. I can't climb in the city. You guys know that the, the churches are very big. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy said, I'll go in the city. The other people that can open, mm. I will be there. And as I speak, you know, the, the arrow wrap out of the pulpit. Yeah. So the message I will be, and make sure don't cover the sheet. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 yeah, I wear in the, this green little eyeglasses yeah. that have lenses in it. So I, I won't be looking at it directly. Don't cover it. Say fine. The when that day, his parents, everybody, the whole bunk at the cut of the the men dancing, oh man, and dancing in the feet of the song that we are going to work So, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to our nothing uh, annual graduation. And uh, graduated from the 12th grade class today, doing our validatory speech. We have student Topa Nyaporo. Call Topa on stage, every whole class here, man. Better go do 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 and the dress code. Mm. When you see the boy, you feel that, yeah, indeed, the man, he even deserves high school that master is over there. The guy enter on stage, the man already cocky. So he breaking, in, waiting for him. The whole crowd about it, oh, yeah, yeah, from there seat. So the man sign up for up. Um, Mr. Principal. You repeat it. There he had a, yeah, Mr. Principal. Mr. Vice Principal, member of the faculty. Student body, parents and guardians, the whole crowd, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The whole, see the better woman. Whoa, that got try The noise, that's what they were talking about. I was on the boat. The boy was reading now. They, you, you know, better people when they, when they happy. The noise, the better people are crossing. The boy forget the boy called the sheep. The friend can't see. So the man had a. My man moved for. Move over the paper. Is it, is it? He said, uh, my man, move over the paper. Everybody, huh? So my man, I said, move it. You will spare. I said, I said, move it. You will spare. I said, 
the whole crowd. Everybody the tap leader. <laughs> like, let's talk about that. I, I live in the city, yeah? Just why I mean that they bought repeat that. I live in the city, yes, man. All the men felt that why they were reading from the people in Hawaii, he said. And I did it. Entire crowd. <laughs> All right, so good. <laughs> that was totally a oh, yeah. cracking joke right there. So okay, that was, so that was cool. way back. I don't even say that joke. <laughs> that was very way back. All right, so good. Cool. Let's go. Let's let look at the entertainment industry right now, bro. Okay. What well, if I do look at the entertainment industry? Be like, what is if we are not up to tax to other people like the Ghanaians, the Nigerians, and all those people? Well, uh, you, there are so many factors, you know, that that leads to this kind of thing. And when you look at our entertainment industry, it, it's kind of pretending. Mm-hmm. When you see it, you, you, you know, it's a, uh, I don't call it distant beauty. Mm-hmm. In the distance, when you look at our entertainment industry, you see it'll be something growing, very, big. you know, yeah. big, growing. You, you check on social media, you hear, oh, Dench is doing his USA tour. The other person doing USA tour. Then when you come down now, you hear the same Dench man, grinding and complaining. Mm-hmm. No man. No days, no day way. Christopher complaining, the other person complaining. You understand? And one of the first things that we need to do is to have a system. Every society you see women, be it government wise or entertainment, there should be a system. And because of the lack of system in Liberia, many things are not going the way they're supposed to go. You understand? And for our field, the entertainment side, we need to have a system so that we can benefit. Or else, the name people that know the names of the local, at the end of the day, they will be telling my, my, my daughter or my son, you know, hello, I know you're alright. And they'll be telling Anna, say, your power is too big. The baby is a big pool, light it up. Your power is too full of you. Now, small person, even the, the person that have issues, you should call him. Hmm. But nothing. There, Anna, Pa, so the local, one of the three playing check up. And Louis, all those kind of things, they gave you somebody king. I was going out the intensity. All the kind of I don't, I don't want that to happen, and, and I don't want it to happen to any other entertainer. So we have to put that system in a place where in the unions, movie union, uh, uh, because you know we we the comedians we are under the movie union. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So movie union, music union, everybody should be you know set up. There should be a structure. But in Liberia, the musicians don't respect the union. Even actors don't respect their their, their yeah, movie union. Yeah. You understand? When when unions have a meeting, they don't go there. Everybody's already be. You know, that, that's one of the problems. Yeah. And you don't empower the union. Because if you're not going to a meeting, who the president is gonna be having a meeting with? Right. You understand? And we we've been complaining that like for the for the musician, we've been complaining that Mr. Griffin's been in power for too long. Mm-hmm. How will he move when there is nobody to turn over to? Like no meaning, not attending a meeting. Nothing. Yeah. You're not paying dues, you're not doing anything. So at the, at the end result, the copyright office was not functional. It was established, but it was, it was not functional. They, 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 because if it were very functional, you won't see the memory card also. And that is one thing that is giving investors hard time to invest. When the real of privacy is too high, and it is not to a minimum level, you don't find people investing. So that is that is the first oh, but, but part of it. Let's look at this structure. Let's look at this for the for the power level. Yeah. Like I was reading one of the pirate law from Nigeria. Okay. And then it was said, what make the Nigerian movie and music itself is the pirate because they were being parallel. So they have to vote extra math like a real country that they're not selling them. So you yeah. get Nigerian artists get popular faster than any other people. Definitely you know, they 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 using piracy in a passive, you know, a, a way. Yeah. It's not like the way we do piracy. Yeah, down there they have a union. All of the distributors that, that does they there's a uh the, the mixes yeah. of Nigerian music, you understand yeah. or, or movie yeah. or whatsoever. They have a union. They pay the artists. Mm. Definitely. If 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 P Square or Timaya have a have a, a hit song and he did a video for that song and they the the union in a lot of market there way, they will make sure they pay you for that work. Because the, the, the people paying dues. So when, when, when you're given the right to distribute worldwide, every all other marketers, all other distributors will receive it. Because all the men are paying their dues. 
So that from those dues now, they go to pay the artists. They give you something from your work. But yeah, the America boys don't have a union. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. You somebody goes to the studio, record a song for uh, uh, um, maybe hundred or hundred and fifty dollars. Somebody can transfer it for fifteen or ten dollars liberty. Somebody do a comedy skit. Maybe you spend close to three four hundred dollars on a skit because you know movie production is, is, is expensive. Yeah. So what are that three minute skit? You pay in that video man. That three minute they're looking at to edit it. Sometimes it takes you more than two hours. Yeah. You understand? Because something you want to achieve, that visual art, somebody get that thing and put it on a computer and distribute it to people. Free. So the name in Jamaica will go wild, the name Paul Freeman will go wild, but you will not see the money. Whether you, you, can, you, you, you have your testimony, you can see in Jamaica riding motorbike, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. And I'm <laughs> always riding motorbike. Yeah. So that's not how it's supposed to be. But, but let's look at it this way. Do you think the artists are like comfortable because they're getting poor blood, so they don't care about the money anymore? Definitely. So, sometimes it, it, it happens. You understand? They, they, some of them, they feel complacent that because they're too popular, everybody knows them. And knowing full well. But if you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you watch other comedians from outside, like, like what I do, if I'm into comedy, and right now what I'm into comedy, I monitor the outside world. Yeah. Most especially our African brothers. What are they doing? You understand? I try to monitor them to make sure uh, uh, I can uh, grab what they into. You understand? Yeah. So if you know how they, they, they try to upgrade and brand themselves, you will not sit there and feel that, oh yeah, everybody knows over the world. So I get time. Mm-hmm. You know? You, you, and we, we got to understand the business. So uh, that's the most important thing I bring you. Definitely. All right, so in order to hear more about this, we're about to take our street press session. And this street press session is where we're going to street asking people how well they know that bread and how well they spell. Oh, wow. So it's one of the <laughs> most interesting part of the entire program. So we're about to hit the street right now. I was in the street last week and I asked a couple of people in capital city but most around the community. And one or two questions, but you're going to see it for yourself. So let's hit the street press session. <laughs> Good afternoon, my brother. Yeah, good afternoon. Your name? I'm Che Godrich Vaughn. Uh, Godrich, you are welcome to the incredible press session. Thank you so much. I got three questions for you, my brother. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, I, want, I want to know, a lot of people have been probably confusing all the there about the capital city of Monserrado County. Could you please help out the capital city of Monserrado County? Capital city of Monserrado? Mm-hmm. It's Bensonville. Bensonville, you sure? Yes. Capital city? Yeah, for Monserrado County. And I'm Monserrado. Monovia? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be sure it's Monovia, right? Yeah. Monserrado capital is... Monserrado... It's Bensonville. Wow. You sure of Bensonville? Yes. Give it, give it a try. Give it one more trial. Monserrado County. Uh, capital city. The capital city. Mm-hmm. It used to be what? La Bento or what? But I think I've been to there, right? Bensonville. Uh-huh. Edward J. Rock. No, the capital city of Montserrat County. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now Moravia. Moravia? Mm. You sure? Mm. You sure it's Moravia? Yeah. The capital city of Montserrat County is Bensonville. Bensonville? Yeah. You sure of that? Yeah. Now, now Moravia? No. <laughs> All right, my brother. Capital city of Monserrado County. Yeah. <laughs> what is the capital city? <laughs> yeah, Monserrado. Yeah, capital yeah, Monserrado capital city. But for me, I know the capital city of Monserrado County. Monserrado County, you know no other capital city. Because as far as concerned, we we we, we in Monserrado, we in the middle of Monserrado. So yeah, well, Monserrado being the capital, me more for being the capital city is Monserrado. So so, so, the so, city. so yeah, uh, Monserrado County. All right, so you say that like. The capital city for Nima County is Nima County, San Nicole. San Nicole. So Monserrado is Monrovia. It's Monrovia. Right. The capital city of Monserrado is, if I'm not mistaken, is can I say Bensonville? Bensonville? You sure? Yeah. Some people, some people tell me sometimes it's Monrovia and some people say it's Bensonville, some people say it's Bento, some people say it's No, I, I believe it's Bensonville. Bensonville. <laughs> You know, a lot of people hustle in Liberia, and most people don't really know how to spell the word hustle. Can you help us spell the word hustle? Hustle? Mm-hmm. S-U-S-T-L-E, something like that. 
Hawks so? Yeah, Hawks so. Yeah. Oh. H U R R E Y. H U R R E Y. Yeah. The word hustle is H O S T E L. H O S T E L hustle. Yeah. 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 Spell hustle. H U S T L E. H U S T L E. Yeah. You sure of that? Yeah. Yeah. So people say you spell the word like this. Yeah. No. H U S T L E. You sure of that? Yes. Okay. Give it. Give it. Give it a one more try. H U S T L E hustle. H U S T L E. Okay. I will say H U S T L E. H U S T L E. Yeah. Give it one more try. Let me see one more. Is that going right? Yeah, just give it one more. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Give it, give it a one more try. H U S T L E. H U S T R E L E. L E. L E. Yeah. yeah. Please your boy. Tell yeah. Hustle. Hey, I know you can do it. I know you can make it. No. You don't know it? Mm -mm. Who was the fifth person of Black Beauty? The fifth person of Liberia. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, brother, I think she be GSP. GSP, give it a try again. <laughs> <laughs> give it one more try. One more shot. Should be, yeah, brother should be GSP. GSP. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my brother. Just as you hear, I was. You should have that? Yeah. The number five president. <laughs> a GSP. James SP. Yeah. Right, give it a try one more time again. Every F Roger, every F Roger. Well, that have come to an end of the incredible conversation, and I've been having a lot of fun in the street. And all of my, all of the people that I interviewed that I talked to say I should answer the question myself. Hustle is spelled H U S T L E. The boy in hustle every morning. And the fifth person of that word is Edward James Ward. It is seven, it is seven to one. And the last question was, what is the capital of Hustle right now? Yo, thanks that how we have time for today. Jump in the studio. <laughs> okay, uh, that was totally uh, fun there, right? In the street. Imagine. So, in Soto Loco, let me take it over with you. Yeah. I was in the street and you saw the interview asking people, and almost everybody made it. Yeah. So, I'll start with you. Maybe you will probably help out if you also answer yeah. the three questions. So let's take it one after. Okay, so who was the fifth person of the fucking of my Oh wow. That didn't live out there. How I call him? Uh, is it Emma J. Rock? Take it again, try one more time. Uh, mm. Actually, okay. Devin got it. <laughs> you still gonna go just miss that question. Okay, let me just one. So a lot of people have been arguing, you know the thing is very serious. People in the street don't know the capital of Mozart. Yeah, the pussy, Mozart, the capital. Yeah, so I want to know what's the capital of Mozart. Google all the way to Mozart. Pensive though, man. Pensive though? Yeah. No, I don't believe that because some pussy been tough, some pussy been tough. But been tough, man. Yeah. No. It's Benson Bill. Moreover, that for Liberia. Benson Bill is the capital for Mozart. Mozart. Yeah. Okay, well, that's something. But let's take the last one, you. You know, you're rising with hustle in Monrovia, you hang around you know, normal, you're rising with hustle also. So, can you help somebody spell hustle? <laughs> I think hustle might say hustle. Hustle has been issue, I don't know what hustle. They gotta get kicked. It's the um, issue, S T L E. He just made one letter, take it over here. Hmm? He made something. Hustle. Uh, hustle. Just made something. Issue, I made something. He made something. You sure? I'm telling you, there's something. Take it away. Give me another try. I can spell it. Yeah, it's S U S T L E. Yeah. 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 Edward James Roy, he grew from 1870 to 1887. Now, don't give me so, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay, so, so, okay, so, what is the windfall in our entertainment industry right now? Oh, okay, um, 
what we we we, we just need it. like I said we need a system mm -hmm. and everybody gotta come together under one umbrella mm -hmm. where we can be able to engage government and put up ideas that will you know benefit the entire industry you know be a movie or music you understand if we have more time we could expand on exactly. some of those solutions but since we don't yeah, have the time just hit on we, we, we like, the first thing is the structure okay. if we have a structure in place the union, the, the musician union has a structure, the movie union has a structure, and it is fully being supported by the, 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 the actors and musicians. Entertainers. Well. Entertainers as a whole. Definitely, we're going to be able to engage the Ministry of Information, Culture, and Tourism and making them to understand the importance of what we do mm -hmm. so that we can be protected under the law and all of the laws that are on the book can be you know, implemented and that we can so. benefit. Yeah. Definitely, but if we are divided, we, we, we will, everybody will we will grow in a cycle, like I posted on social media. Mm -hmm. Everybody now growing in a cycle. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you, you go, you think it's say you're going very high up, or you don't, you're coming back now. Exactly, so there's no structure. Thank you. And that was yeah, great. That was, that was great. And so, in Soko Local, do you have anything new coming up right now for your fame watching the program? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, on the 29th of April, I'm, I'm going to be having the Life of Christ Season 1 mm -hmm. at the Monrovia Christian Fellowship on 9th Street, which is the last Sunday, not this Sunday, but the, the Sunday after this Sunday is uh, April 29th, right behind Capital FM, yeah. you know, on 9th Street, yeah. There, yeah, the American Church, Monrovia Christian Fellowship. Um, we got tickets already on sale, mm -hmm. we got 300 for children, we got $5 regular, we got $20 VIP, we have... $50 Patreon. And uh, to get a ticket, you can call 0775-520-812 or 0886-548-546. 0775-520-812 or 0886-548-546. We have Putinian, uh just a Dane, in Jamaica, Paul Flomo, all of the guys going to be there to you know make you laugh your girls out right now. We have gospel musicians that are going to be there too. So it's, it's, it's going to be a, a huge, you know, stop. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock, red carpet starts. Mm. Yeah, come dress to impress because Jesus will be there. Yourself will be there. Yeah, Jesus will be there. And there's the flyers for that program. Yeah. I want everybody to come up to support your library, brother. The flyers all around. It's all around the city right now. Like, yeah. Check it out on Facebook. Uh, King Soko Local, right? Bishop King, King Soko King Soko Local. Local. You're going to see him up. You can add me on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Anyway, he's going to respond to you at any time. Before we close this program, you'll give out your last thing of comedy joke, but let me just close it off first and then just seal everything up. Okay. I want to say a big thank you for coming today, for being my guest in this edition of the program. I hope to have you another time again for Soko Loco. I appreciate it. And I want to say a big thank you to the entire like, TV family for this wonderful production. Everyone that makes this production a success, my camera, man, like me, technical, man, everybody. For well, I've had a sponsorship, you can contact the number on your stream or the like TV office at the mission building around the capital of our path. I want to say a big and a big and a big and a big thank you again to my wife to be for watching this program. Always has been a wonderful supporter for this program. Catch me next time, same station, same hour for another edition of the program. I remain your host, Imana, hope your favorite boy. So, King Soko, look up, please close out with one stand up comedy. Um, this is in Jamaica, baby. The India refused to come to Liberia. You know, the main reason why I come to Liberia is because God spoke to me in my dream. God said, Oh, in Jamaica, you have to go to Liberia. And I said, Oh, but there's no lead, no lead there. He said, Oh, no, but we have lead. And I said, What kind of lead? He said, Light TV. I said, Oh, 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 oh. I thought I had a lot of light. Hey, you got two hands down with the ZL. <laughs> Now I like TV. Since I came to the block, I wanted to go back. I nearly changed my mind. I swear to God, I wanted to go back. But since I started watching light TV, hey, go. Light TV can show fun, fun, poor, when they oh. Hey, go. You see, light TV, who know what light TV me can see quality sport. Oh, go. Like, I go to watch light TV. I see the guy that goes to Fusca go. I go for a lot of sessions. I go to Fusca go. 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 I go Hey, go see light TV. They can show all the fun fun music on there. But hey, go. I see them my living room watching my TV. My phone just dancing for myself. I swear to God, all the best movie, that like great movie that you can think about. Our culture, only light TV, the drama, comedy drama. You want to see in your 
Papa, I think funny. Turn into light TV, you will see me clear. Kolo kolo, this has been bad, bad. Ah to ah, I tell you, you see rusty. So you came by the morning, you sit in your living room. Make sure you turn into light TV. Cause I'm go by here, cause I'm go by because of light TV. Light TV is the best session. They eat the me every day. So wherever you are, whether you are Bureau, you say Alunia, you Guinea, I in Jamaica saying that Angel refuse to come to La Bureau now. I hear that because of light TV. Don't into light TV. Hey, man, I'm the I'm the boy. 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 I'm the bo